Hi friends, welcome to Brave. Um, today we're going to work, I think we're going to go back and work every once in a while back on our left and our right hand drawings. I got my um, mechanical pen because my other pen that's just a graphite pen and the whole thing is pencil, I mean pen, pencil, is in my piles and I don't want to dig through it. So I don't know why, but I don't. So today we're just going to play again with a little bit of left right hand um, drawings. So I'm just going to grab a book. I have this book here. I don't really use it for drawing for my art, but I use it for the kids. And I'm, But I'm going to use it for this. And this is how to draw faces. I got a ton of these little books for the kids for just playing around and, and school and that kind of thing. So I thought we would do something a little bit harder um, in the book here and just kind of go and try to do left and right hand with the yeah faces. So we're just going to do like something very easy right here, this prompt right here. And this is just for the left and the right hand drawing. So we're just going to go with one hand and then the other hand here. So this is my prominent hand and then um, whatever is your prominent hand you're going to start with and just go with your ovo. I'm not even drawing right with my right, correct hand here. But it's okay. And you start off with your your face shape. And I know some of you are having trouble with the faces. So um, I understand you guys don't want to do the faces. So I've kind of been le leaning off of them a bit. But I thought, well, we're going to play and just try to follow shapes. Now we're going to follow this shape right here. And if you don't feel comfortable doing your left hand, you don't have to. Now I'm going to follow this shape here and not think about what it is. Just like that. Can you see? And this is not perfect. It doesn't even look the same. It doesn't matter. It's not even low enough onto the hat. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so here's the hat. Now I'm going to draw the this shape first. This is my less prominent hand. Now I'm actually trying with this one. And then there we go. Now I'm going to go for the eyes. I'm going to move my right hand one right out of there. because we. And I'm just going to go with the left hand for me right now. Now I'm just going to go with, we have the little lines, imaginary lines in the face here. And we have the more upper, the mid for the nose, the lower for the mouth. So right about here, I'm going to start drawing some little eyes. And I'm just, not even thinking of them as eyes, it's just kind of drawing the shape. And just thinking about the lines, not what it is as much. So if you have something to go by, like a catalog or a book or just take a snapshot of this and try to print it up. I don't know how you do that, but I would just draw it out and copy it. I don't know. Um, but I'm sure you could get online step-by-step -step drawings of, and just go with your left hand and not worry about it. So now we're going to do kind of a little uh, wavy line here for his nose. So now that I have this kind of crooked, <laughs> but it's there, the little line, I'm going to go with a little wavy a little wavy for his nose and I did I was pronounced it more than what it did on there but that's okay you could go back and erase and kind of just you know play with it a bit doesn't even have to be that big it's a little boy or a little girl I didn't even see the bottom there I didn't pay attention again and now we have the mouth so we have a little line that goes up and a curve and a loop for a tongue. So that's what we have. We have a little 
jawline here, more of a jawline here. So then we have something kind of like this. And this is what you're doing with your left hand. So that's the next step. And of course, I made his face or her face um, a little more longer than a child's face. So didn't do it quite right, but that's okay. Going with this one here. So it's good to practice on some steps by steps here. So it's not even looking anything like her, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go on with my left hand it doesn't have to go anywhere it just had you know it's just practice and kind of getting and I'm just following some of the, the bumps on her hat and it's not perfect but it's just kind of going along with it now we have I want to make her face a little chunkier and then a little thinner so we're gonna I'm going to work on that, making it a little bit more. And it's hard to resist to grab it with my other hand, but I'm just going to play with it. Nice little child's chin and face. A little bit more softer look. So now this picture has some ears and looks like I have like hair, <laughs> uh, whisker hair more or less. And so I'm just going to put some ears in. There we go. So just kind of think of lines, what they are, not really what it is, but a little, few little wisps of hair. It's already looking like a child. And that is just my left hand, which is less prominent. So some of you will be, you know, most, a lot of artists are um, left-handed. It's, but most of them are, I think, I don't know. But anyways, but they do have a less prominent hand, still the same. So then there we go, we have our child. And that was with the left hand, not perfect. By far, it doesn't even look like the same, but it's just a little practice that uh, you're thinking with your brain a little bit more about lines rather than a face. Now you're just making lines, some lines bolder. I think it helps with your other hand, you know, your prominent hand. I think it helps with your art altogether if you're doing this um, practice because it just makes you think a little bit differently about what you're drawing, I think. But that's my opinion. And there we go. Now, I didn't add any lips to her, so I'm going to add like little, little lips. Now I'm just going to go and do a little lines again. She's a little girl. There we go. Just some lines. And that's all you're doing. See? And that's it. It's fun to go and walk, do a step by step, even though you could say, oh, it doesn't even look like it or whatever. Whatever. You're just having fun with it. So then, you know, you fix what you don't like. And that's it. So this is my quick little left handed step by step. Kind of, like I said, it's not, it's not good, but it was fun to practice and learn. And there we go. Totally looks like a different girl, but doesn't matter. It was fun anyway. Now, I know that took a long time, and that's why I kind of have been sometimes not doing the left and right side. That's why I didn't bother doing the right-handed one. But um, 
just because it, it does take more time out of our braid. But today I thought I would do something a little bit different with our braid and um, go with something a little bit um, I thought would be less time on this part, but really fun and whimsical. So I'm just going to move my, sorry. But I was thinking about another garden because I'm just really enjoying the garden season, but I was thinking about more of a whimsical, um, just another different type of garden. So I'm doing something that looks like, like almost like upside down spades. And I thought that would be really cute. Some gardening, like a fairy garden or something. And so make up some really neat um, bulbs that look, you know, shapes that look like closed flowers or something, but just really neat, almost like um, Dr. Seuss flowers or something really neat kind of gardens. And um, I thought these would be really cute. And you can go in with all these different colors and that kind of thing. And have some whimsical looks. So I was really thinking about these kind of almost raindrop um, flowers or, you know, um, some of them can be um, circles with, you know, spots or whatever, doodles in them. And I thought this would be a really fun piece. And you could even do it on a journal page and um, cut out um, uh, jelly prints. I couldn't think of the name. Jelly prints and stuff like that for it. And it would be really cute. So I was thinking just nice little neat, unique flowers, uh, something totally different. And have some fun with it. Neat little things like this and just have some fun with it. So I'm just going to um, use some of my watercolor crayon type things here from uh, Target, the these ones here, and I'm just going to play with it a little bit with that, just like, oh, what colors would go with it, but um, who knows what we'll use with it on the tag or a little card or on a journal page. Like I said, we can use um, jelly prints and that kind of thing. So it would be really cute. It could be really cute, so. so yeah. Just imagine with some color through it how that would look. And that's what I'm kind of playing with here. It's just showing you guys a little bit. And about this how whimsical you can really make it and go over with some pen and that kind of thing. Um, finally get, did get my pens in yesterday, so that was great. My, um, Copic, no, not Copic pens, um, Posca pens, sorry. Yeah, my Posca pens finally came in, so that is great. So you could just do so many different colors and that kind of thing. I just have a few colors out here that I didn't use another project on on here. So I just thought I would use them up and yeah. And think about some different colors and uniqueness that I can add to these and play. So it, it could be fun. It could be a fun page. And the background could be like a nice um, blue or different book pages and that kind of thing. You guys can write notes on the side and what you envision. And like I said, these are your ideas. I don't want to give you all of the ideas, but these are just some whimsical flowers you can totally do and um, have a neat uh, some kind of fairy garden thing happening or or just something something else blooming. 
something different. So, and yeah, with all the different colors that you could choose from, or jelly print plates, prints, or book pages that you could kind of dec decorate and that kind of thing, and just put those on, or or anything like that, you can invent. Um, we can have some really neat, unique pieces. So that's about that. I was just kind of put, throwing some color in it to get your imaginations going a bit because I haven't thrown color on something probably in a little while. And I know it's kind of gets hard when sometimes when it's just pencil, but when you're doing sit down and you're doing um, designing something, if it's just a, a page or a dress or whatever, you're doing sketches and then you're adding color and that kind of thing. So, I mean, that's what you do. And sometimes I don't get a chance to put it all down on paper, but yeah, that's what you do. And you just kind of mix and match and, and figure out what works and that kind of thing, you know? And you could do Zentangle on these, these good things or whatever. Um, it'd be so, so you, whatever it is, it'll just totally pop and be like, that's what you were meant to do. So just do your own little thing. And then, like I said, you guys could do whatever you want in the background. I'm just going to grab a little bit of blue here and just kind of throw it on. Just to show you. You know. Of course, I probably should just use a wet brush to get it all on everywhere. But yeah, it'll look really cool. It'll look really nice, I think. I was being very sloppy at the moment, but because I'm trying to hurry so the video's not too long, it's getting long. But there we go. You can kind of get an idea from this of what your whimsical garden will look like. You could have some toadstools, whatever. Just add something really unique. Think, you know, Dr. Seuss. Think really those, you know how they have those, those crazy trees and crazy plants. Just think of your own. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's kind of uh, a fast go through on this part, but like I said, that's why I did a little bit longer uh, um, beginning warm up. And that's why I kind of cut those out sometimes because I mean, I'm, I hope you guys enjoy them and you could try different things around the house to draw with your opposing hand and yeah so use your imaginations and that kind of thing but this is this with a little bit of color write some notes down you know you could do little markings with pens or whatever and just you know have things coming off of them that kind of thing just whatever your imagination is telling you you know just go for it you can even have like it doesn't have to be so smooth it can have like a jagged outside. It could be just whatever. It could be more flaming looking. Anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to craft like a duck. Talk to you guys later. Get brave in your art. And yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.